I already cut myself, so we know this install is going to go well. Hello, you dude! Hey guys, Paul, Bama Trail Riders, back with a hopefully quick and easy parts install on the Wildcat Double X. We've got new seats. So these are the Aces Racing Daytona seats. We've got a pair of them in gray and black. And at the time of ordering, it was cheaper to get the seats with a pair of harnesses. Won't be using the harnesses. I still have my set of Simpson D3s, and they work really well. So I'll still open up the box, take a look at them, get a little idea of what they're like. So, so far I've already got the stock seats taken out of the machine. Real quickly, I'll go over how to take them out of the double X. On the passenger side, you've got two bolts. You've got a 10 mil here and a 10 mil here. Take those out, the seat just comes right out. There's two little prongs that go in these rubber inserts just to keep the back end, so just pull it out straight and out. If it's getting caught right here, that just means your fuel tank has uh, slid forward a couple millimeters, just slide it back, it'll come right out. The driver's side, a lot like a Razor and other similar machines, there's a pin here with a uh, latch. You just pull up on the latch, lift up, slide it out of these, see it comes out. So we'll get this. Uh, we'll get these boxes opened up, get an idea of what they look like, and get started. All right. So right off the bat, we've got instructions at the top, and like a lot of other people, they misspelled Arctic. Now the seat rails for the 2018 and the 2019 and up double X's are different. So. They do have you specify what year your double X is in the comments, and it looks like they read the comments. I have a 2019. All right, guys, got the first seat taken out. Got the packaging here. Take a look. Is this suspension seat? It's got the pass through for the fifth point. Fifth point pass through. So far, just quickly looking over it, the stitching, everything looks good. No issues, no uh, no damage from shipping. It seemed to be pretty well packed. Overall build quality seems seems perfectly fine. Cool. We can get uh, ooh, bag of hardware. We'll get started. We've got my two stock seats here. Looks like we're going to be taking out these bolts to separate the bottom of the seat from the frame. Those are all T30. Then inside here we've got T30s. 
then we should just have the bare frame. Just with those eight bolts taken out, we're left with a bare frame. I'm starting on the passenger side, uh, just to get an idea of how this goes together before I start on the driver side, which has the slider mechanism. Figure it might be a little easier. These instructions are uh, not great, but this is what I kind of figure they're trying to say. So they say the taller end of the bracket goes towards the back. You can kind of see one end is taller than the other. It goes on kind of like that with bolts that go through it. And I already cut myself, so we know this install is going to go well. So here's what I figured out. We've got bolt going through here with one washer in between the bracket and the stock bracket, two washers. And then one more washer between the nylock nut and the new bracket. So we'll tighten these up. And done. Once you're done, it looks like the rear bracket is about level with the stock seat bracket. But yeah, let's figure out how to mount these seats on here. Isn't so bad. Pretty much just uh, stick your hand in here, feed the carriage bolts through. Um, stick them straight out of here, thread the nylock nut on. Um, it's kind of, so the instructions say to uh, just loosely put in the rear first, then do the front. Pretty sure that's what that says. Uh, yeah, we recommend bolting the rear of the seat before the front of the seat, hand tighten all carriage bolts before tightening them. So yeah, um, that's what I did. I just put them on a little loose so I could have a little bit of room to move around. Uh, it did take a little bit of uh, a little bit of prying just to get the bolts through and I may or may not have over torqued one of the bolts. All right well let's uh, let's get this one installed. The driver's side looks to be almost identical to the passenger side. I was worried about the uh, whole slider mechanism and everything, but uh, it doesn't look like it's going to come into play at all. Take out the, uh, the four bolts, one, two, three, four, on the base of the seat, and it's gone. Do the same thing to the back, then we should just have to mount the new brackets on here, just like we did on the passenger side, mount the seat on it, and then good to go. Let's, uh, let's see how I mess it up. All right, again, like the uh, passenger side, the driver's side, there's really no difference here. We've got the brackets put on. Remember, the longer end goes towards the rear. We've got bolt, washer, two washers in between the bracket and the new bracket, washer on the bottom, nylock nut, and uh, those are totally torque to spec. Now, while this is all out, this would be a great time to clean and lubricate the sliders, but... Uh, yeah, that's not happening. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead and start mounting that seat on this new modified bracket. All right, here's a quick tip while you're mounting the bracket onto the seat. Make sure your seat is uh, kind of at an angle like this. I use the shipping box just kind of as a workbench to put it on. That way when you drop one of these carriage bolts that you have to snake your hand up in here to get through here, when you drop that, it'll just roll down to the bottom of the seat where you can kind of get it out of here. Otherwise, it's going to fall off the back of the seat and it's going to take you, f oh, I don't know, 10 minutes to get it out. Guys, I did it. They're done. I'm no mechanic. If I can do this, anyone watching this video can do it. As you've seen, if you follow our channel, uh, Pretty much everyone has to help me with all of my projects. I'm an IT guy. But this wasn't too bad. Here's the finished product. These seats are now the nicest part of my entire Wildcat. I'm okay with that. Initial impressions? Build quality seems very good. A lot better than you would expect for the price. There's no single tear. There's no bad stitching. The padding feels good. 
everything about him feels like these are the deal of the century when it comes to seats. Are they better than PRP? Probably not. Simpson? Probably not. Sandcraft? Probably not. But they're affordable. So impressions in the Wildcat. Um, they definitely sit higher than the stock seats. Not a lot, but enough to be noticeable. The seat back angle is about the same. So if you like the factory uh, kind of leaned back feel, you're going to like that. Um, I would say it's more like the sitting position in an X3 than a Razor where you more sit on it instead of in it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a small guy. I'm right at six foot, 235 pounds. I fit great in these. Now, I'm going to wait to give my full opinion on them until after I can sit in them for... I don't know, 10 hour trail ride, but so far I can already feel there's more lumbar support than the factory seat. The bolstering, especially down at the hips and the legs, <clears throat> feels a lot better. Um, there's more padding. They're seats and they feel pretty good. So stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll do a follow up on it. See how they hold up. If I have any issues, I'll be sure to post any. So far, uh, Aces Racing makes a pretty nice seat.